hiring partners, instructor, and all the audience which attend in online and offline. We are from Group 2, FTDS Remote Batch 16. We're going to talk about DIVA, your personal digital financial advisory for mutual funds. The next. Okay. At this time, I will introduce the member from Group 2. There are six members with different educational backgrounds. Muhammad Atwal Isak, Muhammad Afif Alfan, myself, Muhammad Yulizar, Anggara Sutisna, Nadia Oktiarsi, and Sri Wahyu. Next. And then mission statement from our group is, we support people in Indonesia for having mutual funds as our investment for a better future. So, DeFi is here to provide recommendation for the best mutual funds that match with users' risks provide. Okay, next. What is happening with Indonesia financial condition? Indonesia financial condition has improved, especially in investment. In Indonesia, there are 10 million investors, and most investors are mutual funds. And we can see the graph of the number of mutual fund investors continues to increase every year. Next. In Indonesia, mutual fund investors are dominated by GNP, or mostly men. Age under the year, occupation is employed, and uh, income of 10 million to 100 million. Next. Okay, so the problem we'll tr we're trying to solve is the access to invest in mutual funds is still not easy and viable enough for some people. Uh, and we also want to improve people's knowledge of what to invest with their economical status. Thus, we came up with a solution a financial advisor online app that can help people to decide on which mutual funds to invest in based on their profiles, and we call it DIVA. Next. Okay, next. Uh, we divided our workflow into four processes. Uh, we first scraped the data using Python and then clean the data with Pandas, modeling with LSTM deep learning algorithm and web apps design using Streamlit Python, and hugging face for deployment. Next. Okay. The timeline from our group is, first of all, we do brainstorming and analyze the problem. We're doing some research about Indonesian financial condition, like mutual funds profiling analysis and creating questionnaires for, for profiling like low, medium, and high risk profile. And then we scrape the data from various sources, such as pb.com, bareksa.com, and etc. The data we scrape is the top 10 mutual funds based on total asset under management from each provider. After scraping the data, we do some cleaning and pre-processing the data. And then we train the data using recurrent neural network with LSTM algorithm. And after that, we are evaluating the models. And the last is finalization. After the data was trained, we create the app using Hugging Face. Next. Yeah, um, this is actually what we are going to sell uh, from our products. We divide it uh, into two. The first one is actually risk profiles. And we divided risk profiles into three. The first one is low risk. The second one is medium risk. And the last one is high risk. What is the difference? The difference is basically about the tolerance of losses and gains from the investor. And also, another difference is that the investment time horizon. So sometimes low risk want to claim their investment less than one year, and then high risk want to claim their investment like more than 10 years, for example. Next. Okay, so after that, we also give another features after we profile risk for investor. The uh, for example, is our mutual funds recommendation system. So in mutual funds recommendation system, we divide it into four products that investor can choose. So the first one is market money funds. Uh, it is actually for low risk investor and it is usually less than one year. And then the second one and the third one actually for a medium risk uh, investor. Uh, the second one, for example, like fixed income fund, it, they usually invest and claim for one to three years. And the fourth one is 
uh, balanced mutual funds, usually three to five years. And the highest one is equity funds. They usually have the higher risk takers, for example, and they will take uh, the investment for more than five years. Next. Okay, thank you. You can see the screen. This is section for the model deployment. This is a model DIVA, Digital Final Advisory. For the home page, we can see the trend up or down based on the NAV, net asset value, and the top 10 money market based on the AUM, asset under management. And we can choose the mutual funds what we want. And the model will show you graph for the trend and money market. After you're done with the home page, you can go to the profile rates and input answer on the questionnaire. And then click the submit button. The model will show the risk profile and mutual funds recommendation that give we more gains. If you change the answer and the make resort as a high risk, the model will show the same resort like before, added by top holding and top stock. Thank you. Next. Next, please. Yep. Okay. So thank you for the explanation for the demo program. So I will explain about the results that from our products. Uh, okay. Let's say we have the results like this in our in our windows, for example, and it is show the profile risk first. Uh, for example, I got medium risk, and then after that, we also recommend which mutual funds. Uh, that gives benefit the best. For example, that are stable. Uh, we have uh, the parameters, uh, let's say features or variables, which is actually useful to consider for investor. Uh, for example, predictive NAV, percentage, and also asset under management, or we call it IO. And we can see for the top one for the prediction tomorrow, for example, it will give benefit 0.03% than the close uh the close uh the close nav uh the day before so there are three rank let's say we can say the rank is based on those three so yeah uh we will explain this further so next next oh yeah sorry i'm um, sorry back <laughs> Okay, so this is our consideration. How we finally evaluate the model is basically we lower the error from our model that will give the benefit more. For example, the high risk, the error is just 82.3 and then uh, the difference for low risk 0 0.18, the medium risk uh, has an error 8.5, for example. So. Uh, our model is actually really fit for this. We try to error the value based on the predicted NAV, and this is at least the average of difference. And also, we finally deploy this uh, model on hugging face. Next. Okay. In this project, we face some challenges and limitations. The first is limited search of data. The original data is confidential. So it is limited and only for internal use, for example, like a visit.com. And another challenge is that the complete data is only for members like at barracksa.com. Next is the number of data we use is only the last few months. So to get a better result, we need more data. And the last but not the least is front end development. The limitation is that user experience research has not been carried out, which makes it easier for user. Next. Oh, uh, for okay, that's all for our presentation. Thank you, everyone.